Dear brothers and sisters, we are on the ninth day reflecting on how God is calling us to prepare for the birth of His Son, our Savior and Redeemer. Today, let us reflect on the three kings. The three wise men, or whatever you want to call them. They were three men, not from where Jesus was born, but some far off land, who were not reading only the scriptures, but they were also reading the stars. They were astrologers, they were scientists, no, not what they were, but they were busy in putting all their knowledge to work. First, they trusted in the promise of God that he is going to send the Messiah. Second, they were waiting for that to happen. They believed that will happen and they were working on it. This is a real great thing. Today, the Lord is speaking to the technology and science of the generation. So much of development that has happened in science and technology. We know so many things. Eh? What is happening in which corner of the world news is there? Insta, Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube, oh, everything. Necessary, unnecessary, all information is fed to you. Just open your phone and you have everything there. How many tunnels were what happened, when it happened, everything you know. Knowledge is not enough. You should have focus. You should have a goal. You should have a desire. These wise men had the knowledge of the star. They had the knowledge of the scripture. But this knowledge was not which took them to the Savior. It was the desire which was in their heart. They were well off. Whether they were kings or not, I don't know. But they were well off. They were wealthy people. They were high, elite test people. They had no need of traveling in the desert. They had no need of just wandering in search. But the desire to meet the Lord was greater in them. Their wealth did not stop them. Their knowledge did not stop them. It helped them. How could they survive in the desert? Because they had wealth. How could they reach? Because they had knowledge. Today, the same wealth and knowledge which is taking you away from Christ is, was the wealth and knowledge which helped them to Christ. The same information that you are gaining which is taking you away from Christ, was the same information which helped them to go towards Christ. This is one point that the Lord is speaking to us today. Tomorrow again, we will reflect on the gifts that they bought. But today, let us just reflect on this one aspect. They were of different nationalities, maybe. Different cultures, maybe. But what united them together? They were not three brothers from same family. That you agree, right? They were different people who came together for one purpose. United for Christ. We, we use the statement nowadays, right? United for Christ. They were united for Christ. Because their aim was greater than whatever they are. And that's how they could journey together in the synodal church, journeying together in this generation, journeying together. Let us look at these people who journeyed before us. Their journey was meaningful because they had the deep desire within them. We are just looking at them journeying and then reaching and then giving the gifts finished. But look at the journey that they did on the table. From their laboratories, from their rooms. Searching for years, waiting for years. Finally came the star. The star did not come the day they started searching, no. The star came much later. 
their search would have been for years they would have patiently waited persisted that's how they reached you will not find the star the day you convert you would have been living a, a different life later you found christ you are living a beautiful life but now suddenly you will not reach to the end you will not find him journey persistence perseverance hold on the lord will show signs he will send symbols finally you will reach the three kings spoke we heard amen